going on gamers RC Styles here welcoming you back to the Fort Nightmare event for 2020 it is part two of the challenges overview the new set was released today and it's another set of three and let's take a look at what we're going to be working on we need to deal damage with a possessed vehicle to my opinion that means that you have to be in spirit form or shadow form and get inside a vehicle and then hit somebody um, I'm guessing. I'll find out more about that as I start completing these challenges. Uh, detect players as a shadow. You need to be able to detect up to 10 players. Uh, this is pretty freaking simple. Matter of fact, all of these are going to be a question of getting uh, the right area, right time with people in it. And then eliminate shadow Midas. This can be done as a team. If Midas is going to be like anything he was in was it season two, it shouldn't be too hard to take down Midas. Um, you will function just like any other boss. But doing it as a team will mean that you guys can go in, get it done one time, and everybody gets credit for it. So it's at your leisure or your discretion how you want to approach these. I do know that all of these challenges have to be done in solos, duos, or squads. If you hop over to Rumble, Team Rumble. Um, it'll be a regular map. There's no Fort Nightmare overlay at all for it. Um, but you can still achieve other weekly challenges within Team Rumble. I don't really have any stupid dances for you. And in about another hour, we will be getting ready to do a uh, Fortnite item shop video for today as well. I know I've kind of been getting them out late, but we're going to try to get this one out on time for you. So... Until then, hit the like button, notification button, and subscribe, and that way you can stay on top of more kick-ass content from Gamers Purgatory, and as always, I'll be seeing ya.